So, what is the difference between a PF63 and a UPF63R besides the color? Let's find out. So, just by holding them in my hand, I can tell that that one is heavier. But exactly how much do they weigh? Let's find out. Got the scale set to zero. That one's coming in at nine ounces. And this one, 12.7 ounces. So now I'm going to cut them open, lay them out, then we'll take a closer look. This one's definitely a little bit thicker sidewall. That is for sure. Alright, so you can take a peek here. This one definitely has more inlet holes, as you can see. Anti drain back valve. This one feels a little bit thicker. This one feels very flimsy. I am surprised. The oil filter. As you can see, is a plastic cage inside. Metal in caps. This one's got a steel cage inside with a bunch of holes. And there is your spring to hold everything nice and tight. And also your valve that your filter gets plugged to allow oil to still flow through. That looks to be the same on both filters. Next, I'm going to count the pleats on each of them. So I just got done counting. This one has 65 pleats. They are pretty well uniformed in the spacing, except for right where the material meets together. But it's pretty well uniformed throughout. This one has 50 pleats. And there are some spots where you see where it's uniform tight. But then it's wide open. And by wide open, I don't mean a hole through. I mean the spacing is not uniform like it is here. It's 
more spacing there, then it gets a little bit tighter, gets way tighter, then there's more spacing, this is where it meets together. It was only 50 pleats, whereas this one is 65. And this one, being your standard filter, is cheaper than the UPF 63R, which is their ultra gold oil filter. This one is just a standard oil filter. It's up to you to make up your mind which one you want to run. If you want to see more videos like this, please like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the routine. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.